Now for the rabbit, it's actually a flying rabbit whistle. So we're going to start with the whistle and make sure that it works. And it works. So I'm going to put this on the bottom again. No need for that to be on the top, it'll just be in my way. And I'm going to start with my little nose at the tip. A little triangle. Teeny little nose. I'm going to score and slip it, even though it's a teeny, teeny, teeny little piece. It doesn't matter, I still need to score and slip. Everything gets scored and slipped. Especially when we're adding leather hard clay to plastic clay. Actually, we're adding plastic clay to leather hard clay is what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay. That's probably too big, but it's, it's so hard to get them small. Okay, then I'm going to put on my eyes. Score it and slip it. And I think I'm going to make this rabbit. Nah, he has wings. I was going to make him crazy, but I don't want a flying crazy rabbit. That's just scary. Score it and slip it. Touch my eyeballs. And then I'm going to flatten out my pancake for the eyelids. Those are quite a bit bigger than the other ones I did. Use my fettling knife to cut it in half. Then I'm going to score it behind the eye and slip it. Slip it good. And attach my eyelids. And then the final step on the eyes. And you need to do this before it gets dry. So as soon as you make your eyes, you need to put the holes in for the eyes. Because if it gets dry, it'll crack when you try to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to make my ears. I've got two balls of clay the same size. I'm going to flatten it out. And as I flatten it, I'm squeezing it into a big almond shape. I don't want it too skinny or too thin. Not too thin. That's about as thin as I can go. Kind of make a little scoop there for the inside of the ear. Make into kind of a little spoon. Spoon! And squeeze out my ear shape. And I'm going to lay them next to each other to see that they're about the same size. I can feel that this one has a little bit less clay but I think it looks okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, then I'm going to score it and score here. Score, score, score. Score, score, score. Now, especially since these are standing straight up, you're going to have to be careful and make sure that you don't make those too thin. If you make it really thin, it's definitely going to break. You don't want to make it and break it. Not cool, Not cool man. And and smooth that in. I'm going to smooth it in just the back. I think that'll be sufficient. Okay, now this bunny, I'm going to make one ear go down and one ear go out like that. And then use this to kind of clean up a little bit of that slip that got out of control there. Okay, now this bunny design it has wings. I'm not going to get to, uh, there's no room for wings on there now. I would have had to make my eyes way smaller if I were going to do wings. So instead of doing the wings, I'm just going to put on my little bunny tail. On your booty? Bunny tail. Score my tail. and then attach it, smooth it in at least one spot. But don't smooth stuff in, don't, don't smooth your individual parts in like 
all over because then it'll just it won't look individual all right maybe a few little cute little marks there the little whiskers coming out of there oh no I'm a whistle <laughs> but it works bunny rabbit